Hi guys and welcome to video 2 on setting up and using a one click metal and print machine with Autodesk's Netfab. Last video we covered setting up your machine and importing, repairing and orienting your part for printing. In this video we will cover support generation and part duplication. Cool, so the first step is to set up your support. In Netfab there's always multiple ways to do things. So as with this setting up support, you could either click on the part and right click and go to prepare and go to generate support or you can do it through the ribbon at the top generate support but what we're going to do is going to click the part and go to our current part information on the right and click create supports you see in the tree we've entered the support module and we can see on the right it's opened up a window for the support we can see how we can change the critical and non-critical angles and also see how these refer to the shaded colours on the part in the centre. The red refers to angles below the critical angle and the yellow refers to angles between the critical and non-critical angle. So what we'll do is we'll set our critical angle to 40 degrees. We can use the slider or we can type it in. And we'll set our non critical angle to 45. Perfect. Now, what we will do is look into the support scripts tab. And we can see a range of scripts that have been created for us. We can also create our own using this plus icon on the right. Each script has a range of actions associated with it. If we were to click on Metal Powder Bed Light, we can see we've got these three actions with that script. To run a script, we go to run support script, select the one we want, which is in this case is the metal powder bed fusion light, and click execute. You can see that has generated our support. Looking at this, you could probably see these areas in which we wouldn't need these long, thin supports. So we can just simply click them and press delete. Now, looking at this left section, you can see this has not really been supported. So what we can do is we can right click on it and we have a variety of actions that we can run on it. What we will do is do this cool action on cluster. We'll select metal powder bed fusion light area with volume support action and click execute. Perfect. That supported that section perfectly. Right, once we're happy with that, we can go to the bottom right and click apply support. Brilliant. You can see our support has been generated and now we want to duplicate the part. You can see the direction of the ricotta as indicated by this grey arrow and so we will consider this when thinking about the duplication and the laying out of the parts onto the platform. To duplicate the parts, we go to this duplicate option on the top in the ribbon. And here we have a variety of options that we can use. What we will do, we will click rectangular pattern. We also have the option, of course, to duplicate all the parts in the same position or fill the platform, but we will stick to rectangular pattern. Distance type, we'll just leave between parts. And what we'll do is we'll put three in the Y positive and we'll keep the count as one in the X positive. And in the Y, we will set the gap to five millimeter. Perfect, that looks good. So let's click duplicate. And you can see it's now duplicated those parts and positioned them with support on the platform. You can also see looking at the tree on the left, under the end print, you can see now we have three of those parts it within your machine. Perfect, that's all for this video. Next, we'll look at assigning build strategies. And then in the final video, we will look at slicing and exporting.